Welcome to the AdSense site approval series. My name is Aurora and I work in policy education for publishers at Google. This series takes a closer look at the different criteria required by Google AdSense to help you get your content ready for approval. In this video, I'll define good and bad traffic. Let's get started. Um, actually, hang on. I promised I would check on Andy to see how he's getting on. Hi, Aurora. Sorry, you just caught me in the middle of a little soiree. The place is jumping. Right, well, that sounds busy. You know what? I didn't even advertise it. All these people must have heard on the grapevine what a hip and happening host I am. But the weird thing is, my supper club website keeps getting rejected by AdSense. I don't know why, because it's full of content and I've checked the webmaster guidelines. As you can see, my parties are very popular. Well, let's see what we can do. As you know, AdSense is very efficient at eliminating invalid traffic to create trust in the digital advertising ecosystem. It's crucial that advertisers know that everyone who visits your site is a real person. You haven't had any fake visitors, have you? Fake visitors? I don't know what you mean. Philosophically speaking, who's really to say what's fake or real anyway? Actually, we can be crystal clear about that, Andy. A real user, what we call good traffic, is a genuine end user who, while browsing your website, sees a relevant and helpful ad and hopefully clicks to find out more information. Right. Yeah, that sounds exactly like my users. What's that? Yeah, good one, mate. Cheers. Uh, okay. So how do you define what's not real? Auto-refresh hidden ads, a bot, a crawler masquerading as a legitimate user, clickjacking, adware, malware, cookie stuffing, browser pre-rendering. Yeah, time to get down and boogie. Woohoo! Woohoo! Look, Andy, there's no need to make up your visitors. It will only lead to rejection just be yourself and people will love you for who you are. This isn't too complicated. We have some recommended best practices. You can submit all your pages to the Google crawler to create a more comprehensive map of your site. You can look at what keywords and trends are being looked at through Google, and you can look at what queries drive traffic to your site. Above all, Nothing will drive traffic more effectively than a site that is easy to navigate with great original authentic content, which you have, right? Which I have, yeah. Okay, okay, I'm beginning to think that this supper club website might need a little more work beyond the traffic violations. Don't worry, and in the next two episodes, I'll be talking about quality content and navigation, so I'll be able to help you there too. That's good to know. You're right, Aurora. I don't need imaginary friends. I have everything I need for a top-class supper club right here. A supper club packed to the rafters with real visitors and genuine users. Just like my website. If I build it, they will come. Great. And if you want to find out more details about traffic, please check the link in the description. I look forward to seeing how your idea progresses, Andy. First things first, let's get the vibe right for this shindig. That's our introduction to good and bad traffic. Please like, share, and subscribe to our Google AdSense YouTube channel so that we can help you better understand our program policies. Until the next episode, goodbye. Celebrate good traffic. Yeah! Ooh, it's a celebration.